Good afternoon. How you making out? I'm doing all right. We're back here today on a nice crisp November day here in Nova Scotia. Nice beautiful sky as you can see. Nice sunny day but a little crisp. We're back here today with another quail video. Our most popular video by far that we've had put on our channel is a, a quail video that we did back in August. So we're back in the same spot where that video was taken and the See, we'll do a little update or kind of a sequel to that video to see how what's going on. So uh, here we are back. Some of the quail are still here, as you can see. Some there. Some down here. Looking pretty nice and happy. So like I said, back in August when we brought the quail here, they were getting close to six weeks old. So I told you they were just about to start laying eggs, which they did, but... They only laid eggs, eggs for about two or three weeks, and then uh, they got to the middle of the end of September, and the days started getting shorter, so they weren't getting enough light, and we didn't have length, uh, we don't have lights on in this this place, so uh, they stopped laying eggs. A bunch of them we did take up to our, where we were where there would be warmer and have more light, but some of them we left down here. So uh, today's the day that they're moving up, moving on up. The reason we haven't moved them before this is because we kind of ran out of room in our building up. Where it's warmer and where the light is so we we finally made room for them so that's that's why they're moving today yeah here you go buddy i can only take them one at a time here with my stick my selfie stick should have got somebody to help me but i won't show you all of them i'll show you a couple of them here as i move them put them in the cage and get them ready for transport back inside Go. Nice female there, the speckled breast. There you go. There you go. Here we are. Here's the last guy, a real beautiful male. He probably should have been eaten by this time, but he was so pretty we didn't want to kill him. So maybe he'll make a good breed or we'll find out. So here we are driving the, driving the quail up to their new home. I guess you could say they're moving on up to the east side of the farm to a deluxe apartment in the sky. <laughs> well, it's not real high in the sky, but it will feel like a penthouse to them, I'm sure. It'll be nice and warm for them. I probably shouldn't be driving using this selfie stick. I'm not the I'm not a good driver at the best of times, but hopefully I won't run into anything. Here, I've got some goats looking at it on the way. <laughs> and Murray and Earl over there. <laughs> I can see them, you can't. So worry about that. <laughs> Here they are. I get out of the truck and give you a look at the goats. There's Polar the dog. And there's uh, Earl and Murray over there getting some feed. So there you have it. Here they are at their new home, amongst all the other quail that we have up here already. Getting to have quite a few. We're kind of downsizing a little bit for the winter. We're not we're not able to sell as many quail eggs as we were this summer at the market. So sales have gone down a little bit. So to keep to keep the feed coming, we have to decrease our numbers a little bit. So uh, I thought since we uh, we just brought up these these new. Uh, these new females here, I think it'd be an interesting experiment to see how long it takes them to start laying now. They're definitely old enough to lay eggs, but how, how much, how many days of light is it gonna take till they start hatching again? So today is November the 28th, I think. So uh, we'll uh, keep you updated and we'll let you know when, the, when these, these girls here hatch their first egg after coming from a place with not enough light. Also, if, uh, if you're out there and you do raise quail, uh, write in the comments how, many, how much light you give your quail this time of year. 
we we think we think maybe we're giving ours a little too much but we're not sure so uh let us know what you give and uh we can uh, see what works for you that would be nice of you since we're up here in the building i figured i would show you our, our brooding the way we brood the, the little ones when they're born like i said before we're downsizing for the winter so this hasn't been in use for a while but i figured i'd light it up and show you what ours looks like this is another apparatus we had around the farm that we're using for a brooder so I'll let you see inside here. Here we go with the heat lamp. I just put those uh, lids in to show you. That's how when the baby quail first come, that's what we give them to drink. We just put little lids and put rocks in them so they don't so they don't flip over. We put a rock in it. So uh, those lids are what they drink out of for the first, I'd say, a week and a half, two weeks maybe, because. Uh, one thing that baby quail are tend to do is they, they drown a lot. If they have if the water is too deep, they splash around and they get they uh, don't do well in deep water when they're babies. So we give them this very shallow these very shallow lids for them to drink out of for the first two weeks. And we just mostly scatter just feed we scatter feed along the the bottom too. We don't put them in containers. We just scatter it on the floor on the bottom. So they drink out of those lids for the first two couple weeks and then after that we put in the bottoms of our feeders and waterers. We put feed and water in here. It's at a, a good depth that they can drink and not drown themselves in because they, they grow pretty quick so it doesn't take them long until they get to the point where they can eat and drink out of these. And then of course eventually we'll put the we'll put the containers on top and just probably most of you have seen these kind of feeders and, and the water so that's what they come to eventually. We're not real big on spending money that we don't need to. So uh, whenever we need something, the first place we look is around the farm here to find something that will work. And for the most part, we found something out every time. Basically our own startup cost was buying the quail themselves and a few of those feeders like these. That's basically everything else that we have for apparatus for the quail and is stuff that we already had on the farm. So uh, I'm sure you guys out there have better looking stuff than we do and probably more efficient, but we, we, our startup costs were really cheap to get us going, so that, that helped a lot, and we were able to expand a lot quicker, and it was good for us. So there you go. That's the video for today. Before, I tried to pull off singing that Jefferson's theme when I before, but I, I uh, taped it, and it didn't turn out. I didn't do it justice, so I didn't want to share it with you guys. So uh, I'll just sign off and say, like, like, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Happy quails to you until we meet. Again. I know I already ended the video, but I thought this was a, a nice way to end it. A beautiful sunset tonight over the farm.